I ain't going back to that house anytime Ooh. soon. What? <laughs> she tested positive for the flu. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so you just said uh, you on your own? Absolutely, I did. <laughs> I grabbed I grabbed them two boys and we we this scooped hotel up. We California sco- boys. Oh, we scooped up and went to Granny's house. Oh, so y'all all <laughs> down the road? <laughs> oh yeah, I ain't staying there. That sounds dumb. They moved over to Hotel California. Yeah, I I I really struggle with that part of the marriage laws where it says in sickness yeah. and in health because Brittany tested. Brittany woke up yesterday with a fever. And first thing I did was grab the boys and said, all right, we'll see you. Adios. Because they ain't got no fever and I ain't got no fever. So why would we stay around fever? That's it. We just lock out and like over in our own little quarter of the house. Well, that's pretty much what I did when I closed the garage door. We went to Granny's house. You just went to a different (laughs) street. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, I quarantined much differently with two kids the same age at the house. So, but you know, she's uh, then she went to the doctor this morning and texted me while I was hunting and said that she tested positive for the flu. And I said, I'll see you in 48 to 72 hours. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you so, a few days later, baby. I said, if you need anything, I'll be glad to drop you off something at the door. Like, I ain't going in that house. You, you don't like the flu? I've never had it. And don't plan on getting mm. it. And I feel like my best way to not get it is just to avoid it if I can. So I said, call me when everything's been cleaned, washed, and disinfected, and I'll come back home. Me and the boys will slide on back into the house. You've never had the flu Mm-mm. in your entire life? Not that I'm aware of, no. Hmm. No. Nope. Go to immune system. That's pretty impressive. Like a yep. bull. I don't know I don't, if I've ever had the flu. I had that when it started with a C, though, and it about snuffed your boy out. So. <laughs> that, one, <laughs> that one came double so, barrels at you, man. So I, I try to avoid oh, yeah. viruses if I can at all costs being six not very fun no it's not not i've had a nose thing but i just kind of shove water up one side let it all pour out the other it's gross looking but you feel better after oh you use that thing they use on tv yeah no i just navage the navage Navage. i just always wondered what nostril in the in the sink and and then blow it out the other side huh is that weird that's like a really cheap navage (laughs) really yeah you just i mean it kind of hurts and then you like an elephant if you will It'll clear you yeah, out. They make a little squirt bottle. Now you can do the same thing. You squirt up one side, comes out the other. I feel like you need to video this. Yeah. Why? Because I think I want to watch you snort water from the sea. Yeah. I think that yeah. action alone is yeah. worthy of video. I don't know. I, mean, I can do it. You want warm water. Cold water hurts. Does it? Give you a brain freeze. Well, oh, not, yeah. You're not ah. supposed to use tap water. You're supposed to use distilled water. Really? Warm distilled water with a little salt in it. Well, West Monroe water Ooh. got more than salt in yeah. <laughs> it. Hey, of- yeah, y'all talking. That, no, forget that. You wouldn't do it? No. The shove the stuff up your nose and let it fall hey, out? I hey, no, I ain't never used any of that nose spray crap. Now, this is just water. I don't care. Hey. i tell you who does use a lot of nose spray. Goblin. Yeah. Goblin? Every two hours. Goblin. He's a nose for every two hours. Oh, yeah. one. And I and look, don't make the mistake of telling him he's addicted to it. <laughs> it's my favorite line he's got. I say you're addicted to that stuff. He said, "I'm addicted to breathing. I'm addicted to <laughs> oxygen." <laughs> he's still walking, breathe. Yeah, he says, "I'm addicted to oxygen." <laughs> so he just constantly. Oh yeah, he constantly. on that bag hard. He oh, don't yeah. go nowhere without it. Yeah. It's like his keys and his wallet. Phone, wallet, keys, nose spray. Mm-hmm. That's how he lives his life. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I've never done that. No, he 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 does. I had a nose spray when I was I was a kid that kept me from wetting the bed. There you go. I, I didn't have him either. You didn't ever use that mm. every night before I went to bed. Tss, tss, wouldn't pee the bed if I didn't do it. Waterworks. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is weird. That I, a note. That yeah. That you, how would those two things be yeah, connected? That don't make sense. The nineties were a different time, man. I mean those. Those two bits of plumbing are a long way apart. How do they connect them? It works. I had to take it to my friend's house. Matthew Dobbs have a birthday party. I'm over there. There, there was like a little line of us. Reese was in the front. Psh, psh, he'd do his nose spray. I'd do mine. Nobody pee the bed. So all the bedwetters stayed together. Well, that's... Looking back at it, there was a couple of us. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all ever use each other's nose spray if you forgot Nah, it? that's when you just risked it. Okay. Or called your mom and kept you from going. Uh, just go home. Yeah. Okay. Did everybody... I'm trying- did all the kids in that group have a queen size bed? Uh oh. No. Ours couple of kings. Hard to say. <laughs> hey, Willie slept in the laundry room and he wet the bed till he was like fifteen. There you go. Just saying. You don't there's no I don't know what decides if you're gonna wet the bed a lot or not. I was one of them. Yeah. My kids don't do it though. 
Happened one time, and they were like, I don't want to do that again. I was like, me neither, but it just kept happening until I got a nose. Jackson drinks so much water, he peed through his diaper about every other night. I mean, just slam through it. Well, things are meant to hold eight <laughs> to ten pounds. Yeah, he beats that. Eight to ten pounds. Yeah, he 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 can he can flat get, but he drinks so much water. He's like a little camel. He loves water. That's good. He's but, like you. Yeah, he's a lot like, like me. Yeah, he's afraid. Of the I don't cow. pee. I don't pee through my diaper anymore. Anymore. Yeah. But one day, I woke up at you five. Will return. <laughs> look, my deal. Yeah, that day's probably coming sooner rather than later at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, got si- yeah. si- I was taking a sip of tea. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Got him. Ah. You gonna drown him again? We gonna drown Sai. You good? Oh yeah, I'm good. My alarm was supposed to go at five forty five this morning. I woke up at five o'clock because I had to pee. And I I rolled over, so I was like, No, I ain't doing it. I'm sleeping. And then about two minutes later I said, No, oh, if I don't get up, I'm oh, gonna pee yeah. in this bed. Yeah, so like, no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna get up. And then once I did, I was awake. I was like, Dad gum it, man. Not. How do you not pee the bed? Because he wakes up every hour. Yeah, I did as a child. You did, but like as an adult, you no. wake up every twenty minutes. Huh? Because no, you pee a yeah. lot. Well, hey, I just get up and go pee. You know what's weird? You go on we go on road trips. He don't pee that much. He he can go nine hours without peeing. Road warrior. <clears throat> and he drinks two gallons of tea every day but if you share a room with him at duck camp in the middle at night he's up every yeah, hour banned. and a half two hours yeah, i'm banned mm. they made me sleep in and couldn't sleep in a room with a bed i slept on the, in one of the recliners in the in the you know living room well, that must have been after i had to share a room with you because you slept with me they oh, no, that's me- the first thing when we went to kansas yeah you were the new I guy i went and got in bed phil said no nah, no way Get your butt in there sleeping in the clipper recliner. <laughs> he said, I ain't listening to you sound like a hog all night long. Hogs put that nicely for what you sound like. <laughs> yeah, they made me bunk with Si. I've never heard you snore, and I've seen you sleep well, I, a lot. I, I haven't either because I think they're making it It's up. pretty impressive. No, he can, he can rip now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, he I, think can. I think they're lying. He can flat yeah. rip. Because I've seen you asleep a lot just on this couch right here that used to be the conference room. And you walk through inside, just be asleep on it with the lights on. Oh yeah, I never heard you snoring though. Oh, he I, snored yeah. on that couch in my I, office. Hey, before. I think they're, I think you're making it up. I got a video somewhere. <laughs> I think say there's documented videos. Yeah, no, he's wild. Uh, he's he's not who you want to share a room with. <laughs> yeah, but hey. his new guy. Yeah, they're well, like hey, y'all him. ain't y'all ain't lighting that department either. Because hey, if, if I didn't go to sleep, I was just listening and just talking. About, and it was like it was like musicians were in the room. <laughs> he this talking one about, was got a high one. This one got a low one. He talking about like, Goblin. It's yeah. like somebody that's in there and it's got an orchestra leader because they just hit it, boy. Okay, bass, come on in. Well, you got Goblin and W. E. right next to each other. <laughs> w. E. You know he's got tiny nostrils. Big, <laughs> big fact, man. Huge man with tiny nostrils. In fact, that, that was one of his nicknames that, that Al gave him. Tiny nostrils. Oh, tiny, tiny nostrils. nostril Phillips. Next time you see him, look look at him. I've, I've, Al, Al, in in my head right now, I'm realizing When he that. snores, it's like like Sal si was saying, a musical instrument. Oh, no. A high pitch. He's oh, like, yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> you get in the and room, you, you go then, hunting, and like six guys, and they all start yeah. sleeping. And it's just like somebody is standing there with a little wand going... All right, let's get it. <laughs> yeah, about him. night, about night three of it. I threatened to not go duck hunting. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just gonna stay here and sleep once all y'all leave. <laughs> so, so you got W, you got Godwin inside W, <laughs> and then Godwin, <laughs> and inside. <laughs> 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 oh, no, yeah. He ain't Al, wrong. Oh, that's, Al, a, that's what it sounds Al like. How did you used to go to sleep? They'd go to sleep. <laughs> that was a great impression. <laughs> no, no. Then yeah. Al, Al would get up, okay, and walk in there with a clothespin and just lightly, okay, just real, just real gently and put it on W.E.'s nose. And he's in there just, and ain't making a sound. Uh, and a man with tiny nostrils, that could hurt yeah. be fatal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. It stopped there. Yeah. Yeah. That was the best impression I've ever heard oh, of W.E. Uh, and Godwin, but it was them snoring. But see, Godwin, uh, Godwin done got on that Darth Vader mask. So yeah, he don't do that anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got to yeah. plug in before he goes to bed. Yeah. 
just uh, mm. yeah i share a room with godwin a lot of a lot of places we go which is fine because that little his little machine makes like a white noise sound i don't so it puts me right to no, sleep. no it's like, just like that would it's freak just me like out when they was doing the movie and, he, and dark raiders talking that's what it sounds like all out long oh yeah it's uh, little Luke, come over to the white, dark side <laughs> that's all you hear all night come i don't think that's the dark side you have to ask Johnny D, but I'm not sure that's exactly how that works. I mean, it was close. <laughs> close yeah. to the movie. I remember it well. But yeah. <laughs> Well, I can't. I'm not good on, you know, oh, imitating sounds. Oh, man. Well, we got big news today. Do we? We have uh, a guest. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was like, wow, what happened? Somebody, <laughs> no, somebody, no, no. somebody pregnant? Like, I was like, no, there's a doctor <laughs> in the house. There is a doctor. We do have a doctor. Yeah. So let's take our first break and we'll bring the good doctor in. We're going to bring the doc in. Bring the doctor in. All right, we'll be back right after this. Hey, look, taking care of your health isn't always easy. That's right. But oh. it should be simple. And right now, everybody's trying all these new fangled things because it's that time of year. But, Philip, yeah. what we've been doing all along. Hey, we've been on it, Si. This is now what? Or who knows how long? Good grief! It's Did they simplify it? They've been we've been drinking AG Very one simplified, uh, uh, and it's been simplified for you, and it's the best thing yeah. you can do. Yeah. I and drink it every morning, me and my wife, and it's a ritual. We get together, we 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 put the we mix up the AG one in the glass with cold water. I don't do like Godwin and put hot water. Cold water is the way to go, and it makes you feel good. Your gut health is great. And your day is different because of it. Yeah. Did I tell you I gave it as a Christmas gift this year? No, you didn't. That's how much I believe in drinking uh -oh. AG1. Why didn't I get it? You should have gave it to me. You're part of this podcast. You already get it. But know, now but my mother-in-law is drinking AG1, and she is fired up about it. That's she it. tells me how much better she feels just from, and, and it's only been a couple of weeks, and she can already tell a difference in every day she's living. When you start drinking AG1, you become regular. Look, and regular, right. I'm not regular kind of guy, but I want to be regular in one area. I think it makes you more alert. You know, I can tell a difference. I mean, I'm more alert when I drink I decided it. to give AG1 a try because I just wasn't a healthy guy. Yeah. I was eating whatever I wanted to eat and not getting the vitamins and minerals. And I was like, oh, let's look into like a multivitamin. And it's just, it's not enough. Yeah. But when well, you drink hey, AG1. the real reason you got it. Yeah. You was watching Superman, Christian. Oh, yeah, and Christian. Okay, if that's good what, enough for Christian, that's it's what good enough for me, right? Okay, when you see Christian flying around here, that's what done it. Okay? That is what <laughs> had <laughs> done it. That's right. And look, when I drink AG1, I know I'm covering my nutritional bases right at the start of the day, getting support for my brain, gut, immune health. And since AG1 is packed with vitamins, probiotics, and nutrients, I'm getting all that stuff right there to start my day. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1. And that's why I've been partnering with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. Uh, welcome back, folks. Hey, we do have a guest. This is Dr. Dean from Purvis, Mississippi. Don't tell him where he's from. Oh, oh no. Hey, They'll be they know where he's from. Yeah. <laughs> he's known. He's well known. The doctor is in. That's right. The doctor he's is in. in the house. So you got any medical issues? Lay it on him. Yep. Well, we, we're not a live show with phone in, so I don't yeah, really know. Exactly. I, I, don't, well, hey, I don't really know who's supposed to lay what on who. But we got phone uh, set up to answer all that. Uh, and now I si ain't got a uh, mic by his mouth. This is what is this rookie night over there? Unbelievable. You got to open the out. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you've been a faithful listener, you've probably seen Doctor Dean's before. But if you if you're new or you have maybe you missed that one, Doc, what? Just remind the folks what you're a doctor of. That, well, I'm a uh, painologist, which is the main reason I came. Stone needed a little help down there at the new Judy chopping class. Oh. So okay. I drove over here and did my sheetrock patch. He said, yeah, we'll go hunting in the morning. But anyway, we, we did sheetrock repairs all morning. Oh. Skipped yeah. a hunt. Oh, that was probably yeah. just as productive as duck hunting yeah, in was. Louisiana. So, oh, yeah. Well, I get way more, more productive. Yeah, way more <laughs> yeah. productive. Uh, Old boy can sling a little mud for, for a doctor. That's good. Yeah. 
That's good. Sheetrock, yeah, I learned how to do that during my remodel last year when Brittany was pregnant because they wasn't getting done fast enough. So I was over there mudding sheetrock at night. It probably looks about like what I just did for snow. Well, right. they, they come back and smoothed it out. But oh, I, got, it? I got the bulk of it done. They just had yeah. to come back and, and fix it. Yeah. But I, I learned. I be, They told me I was pretty good by the end of it. Yeah, they just I don't want to do it for a living. I was just trying to tell you that when you quit. That's fine. Yeah, I quit. Yeah. I'll quit. I'll drag up on you. <laughs> Let them do it. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot. Of, well, yeah, there was a little bit of a language barrier. So, uh, you uh, know. Paquita. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there you go. That's Eat it. That. Oh, yeah. it's been a while since you've been. What, it's been two years? Two years. Since he's been here? Been on the podcast. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> yeah. It nah, Georgia on. won the national championship that day. That was the day of days. Day of days. Yeah. Oh, They're yeah. not going to win tonight. That was two no, years they will ago. not win tonight. Yeah. That was two years ago. Yeah, that was two day years day. ago So we today. got up at that morning, that, just like this year, had me killing any ducks, and the mallards came that morning. We killed a good bit of mallards. Oh, yeah, feet down. Feet down in the hole. And then did the podcast that day, uh-huh. and then went deer hunting that evening. We had one buck left to shoot, and he come out in front of Sai, and Sai shot him. So we didn't kill the mallard. Didn't didn't kill the mallard this morning. Georgia ain't playing tonight. Georgia ain't playing. Georgia ain't so are y'all going deer hunting? <laughs> no. no, no. <laughs> Wind's blowing 30 miles an hour, so we're, we're not deer So hunting. this is the exact opposite. The, yeah, time. pretty much. We got a fan on that sheetrock patch. Yeah, that's we, what we're going to be doing this we, afternoon. We're going back to, to the school and we're do, doing some sheetrocking. Yeah. Doing some mudding. He's got yeah. a fan on the sheetrock right now. Yeah. Oh, waiting but, on it to change color. Yeah. Yeah. Trying, as as yeah. trying to dry it out. Yeah. But we tell the story last time about, about how we all met and everything. I don't I know. Tell it again. We'll it's been so long. Ago. It's been two years. Uh, we I did. think so. Oh, yeah. We so did. We, it was yeah. on a, on a, uh, on uh, Brooks and Dunn's tour bus. Yeah. So so Dr. Dean's running buddy Jay Graham, all yeah. right, uh, owned this uh, tour bus. It used to belong to Brooks and Dunn. Well, so I did some work for a children's home, in 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 Hattiesburg, and yep. his payment was to go shoot these um, tame quails <laughs> down there. <laughs> Wait a minute, they fly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we had, ski, was it a ski shoot? Anyway. A ski shoot. Yeah, ski and shoot. Then, then so we shot. a ski yeah. shoot for, to raise money for the orphanage. Oh. So we pull up there, and this big tour bus comes up. And I'm like, what in the world's going on here? And then he steps off. Yeah. And Jay Graham had a beard, big beard at that time, too, I think. Stepped off right behind him. And I told Si, I said, look at that cat right there. I said, good night. No, that boy got to look about him, don't he? I said, yeah, he got to look about him. <laughs> and then uh, one thing led to another. He got to run in his mouth. We've been friends ever since. <laughs> you realize, yeah, I probably get along with this old boy. <laughs> well, no, no. Yeah. Cause what happened, you know, Stone was my security for that event. Yeah. Okay. And they had brought the tour bus for me to take a break on. Okay. It, it was my moving green room. Nap, nap space. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I come on in there, you know, and then uh, Stone's in there, you know. Well, Jay Graham and this cat comes walking in, and Stone said, "Hey, what are y'all doing here?" Y'all, and they said, "Well, we're gonna, you know, come in and relax." He said, "No, you ain't." He said, "That's for him to relax in." He said, "Y'all need to get off the bus." Y'all, well, he was he was starting to walk away, and Jay Graham said, "Wait a minute." Do you know whose bus this is? <laughs> and Stone said, no, all I know is it's for him. And he said, well, it's my bus. I bought the stupid thing. <laughs> and I said, well, yeah. in that and case, he said, you so stay. you're going to throw me off of my own bus, right? Yeah. And ever since then, we, we all been saying after, after right. that, you know, but I don't we, recall We go to any, Mississippi all the time. I don't recall that's the way it happened. Oh, oh no, you were very friendly. He threw the man, well, like, yeah. he threw oh, the man so. on the bus off his own bus. Yeah. Well, yeah. you just let the storyteller do the storytelling. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's well, 95. Hey, and like you said, though, since then, I have best friends. It's been 95% yeah. true, though. They were all there. Oh, that's yeah, probably we about there. the only accurate part we of it. We were there, and we yeah. were on a bus. That's right. And yeah, Stone did ask us why we were on a bus, and Jason said, because I own it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that was sort of how that went. <laughs> and that's yeah. pretty well the trump card. <laughs> yeah, and it was sort of like, all right, yeah. you can stay. Uh, yeah, you can stay. No, no, that's what, yeah, that's not that it. That's not it. Yeah. So, Jay Graham, you can stay, but this cat, he got to go. You got to go. You got to get out of here. Yeah. Oh Lord! Oh, yeah. We've been ever, ever since then. We've been back and forth, and we'll go down there during the summertime. And Doctor Dean's because he owns a big time. pond. Jay Graham owns a huge yeah. pond that has got huge bass in it. Big. So we do a lot of fishing when we go over there. Yeah. 
You ever caught one of them? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, that pond's in North Mississippi, not Purvis. Yeah. Well, well, hey, you don't want to tell them where the pond's at. Right, I'm saying, north, near Tunica. <laughs> That's where that pond yeah, You don't want to tell them where the pond's at. That's where Jay Grounds Pond is. I don't is. want to uh, like fishing on Jay Grounds Pond. Oh, man. Rednecks will be rednecks. Uh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can't tell them where they're at. Hey, uh, like old Phil did with old Bradshaw that time, put a toe sack over his head, and Bradshaw said, you're joking, right? And Phil said, no, son. He said, you asked me would I take you fishing? And I said, yeah, but you got to wear a toe sack over your head. He said, I ain't going to let you see where my sweet hole's at. <laughs> yeah, so it shows him molding down the river. Bradshaw's got a, a old toe sack on his head. You know, oh, for years, I thought Phil was making that up. No. But then uh, when Phil got the alumnus of the year at Louisiana <laughs> Tech, Bradshaw was there. I was in a room with Phil and Terry Bradshaw and Al. And the first thing Bradshaw said to Phil, he said, I'll never forget that time you put that sack over my head. <laughs> I thought, it's true. Oh, no, and they put that in the movie. You know, the oh, sad yeah. part yeah. is is that's really what you have to do if you take somebody fishing. Hey, mm-hmm. you don't want them knowing your, your favorite hole. Well, nowadays they, they got GPSs, at. you know. They get yeah. on the GPSs. Oh, yeah. and, or mark it on their phone. or Yeah. yeah that's mm-hmm. know, that old boy used to work for Duck Commander. I, I can't remember. His Austin. Name. Took him fishing. In, Austin. And uh, he's back there with a, one of them handheld. Uh, yeah. Oh, he was. Ellen's. He was, mm-hmm. he was, uh, okay. He was marking stones, hot yeah, hole. Yeah, hot hole. Down there on Brewing, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. He said, like, I'm coming back here. Yeah. yeah. You got to watch these boys. I'm get, I can get back in on that. Yeah. You got to watch Yeah, them. I did that to Stone first time he took me of where not to fish. Because we was <laughs> guard holding each other first couple of <laughs> times. We guard holding each other first yeah. couple of times. Yeah. We didn't yeah. know each other well enough to, <laughs> yeah. 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 to get right. right. I want to take you on a juice or not. Let's yeah. figure this out. Yeah. How much staying power you got? <laughs> anyway, well, let's take another oh, break. Boy. We'll be back right after oh. this. Martin, what's in the box? Oh, I have finally, I found the perfect Valentine's gift for Brittany. Uh, perfect. Yeah. I see it. I can read it from here. It's the, the my slippers. Uh, the yeah. slip on style. See, so she had the moccasins. She loves them, wears them every day. They got to change it up. And then they come out with some fuzzy slippers. Oh, what color did you get, Martin? Well, oh, look. just that standard chestnut rig. Absolutely. What other color slippers you need? So look, see the other ones is moccasin style. These she can just walk up to and go boop boop. She ain't got to pull up the back or nothing like that. You just go and you're good to go. There you go. And if you go walking through the mud, because we ain't got no snow here, but you go no, walking through the mud, you can tell. I can tell her where she's been. That's right. Valentine's has come early, babe. I know. No, you're not watching this. I right, she ain't watching this. Yeah, you can tell yeah, that. So she's yeah. got her a pair of my slippers in size nine. Just slide them on, go around the house, chase the boys, and you're good to go. She loves them. I figured why not add to the collection. You can you do know? all things right there for Valentine's from Mike Lindell. Pillows, That's, bed sheets. Hey, Everybody likes that for Valentine's. Yeah. I have, you know, with Valentine's in mind, it is the biggest bedding sale of the year. Boom. So, but whatever you got, they got the biggest bedding sale ever going on. You can get the Giza Dream bed sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight, and you can add a set of pillowcases for as low as nine ninety eight. They got blankets in a variety of sizes, colors, styles. They even have blankets for your pets. So if you feel like your pets getting mistreated, get them something too. You can get duvets, quilts, down comforters, body pillows, bolster pillows, and so much more. All with the biggest discounts ever. They're also extending their money back guarantee. For Christmas, up until March 1st, 2024, making them the perfect gifts for your friends, your family, and everyone you know. All you got to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck right now and use promo code duck. Look, the sheets are awesome. The towels are awesome. Si hadn't taken that robe off since he got it. it. I mean, I'm surprised he takes it off to come up here. That's my TV robe. (laughs) As opposed to your go-to-bed robe? That's right. Like, is there a difference? (laughs) I'm now worried about the robe. (laughs) Oh, no. Don't worry about your robe. Let me tell you what. If it's his TV robe, it gets a lot of time spent in it. We got them all. We love them all. I love it so much, I got Brittany a new pair of shoes So for Valentine's Day. So there you go. All you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or call. 800-969-3137 800-969-3137 you'll get huge discounts on all my pillow bedding products including the giza dream bed sheets for as low as 29.98 and get all your shopping done now while quantities last just go to mypillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or you can call 800-969-3137 to get your giza dream sheets now and get your rope while you're at it 
Oh, one of man. the greatest shows of all time. Sanford and Son. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was a you big dummy. Yeah, yeah. That was a good I'm, uh, hold on, Elizabeth. I'm coming. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. My dad watched that every day, and I used to, as a kid. I was like, I wish you'd turn that old mess off. And now I find myself, I see it on, I stop on. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Just well, taking watch. a walk, taking a walk down memory lane. Oh, it's funny. Well, him and Lamont and Grady. Oh, Grady. Yeah, yeah Grady. ain't Esther. <laughs> oh, so she, she, she made, get to whooping him with that purse. Oh, no. she, oh. Golly. they don't make TV like that. No, anymore. no, because everybody get too offended now. Yeah, you can't make them kind of jokes no more. You know, but that that's back when TV was funny to me. But oh, yeah. here I'm we are, Andy Griffin. Andy Griffin. I mean, Andy Griffin's show, good. Andy. Yeah, ain't no doubt. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was a good one. I'm trying to think of all of them old ones. Mash was good, and they all had one thing in common. What's that? Truth. Real life. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't care. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they uh, just addressed That was, was real life. On. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you seen when you was out in, in the streets. Yeah, it was just, it was, it was good. Sanford and Son had Aunt Esther, Doug Dynasty that's had it. Uncle Si. That's it. You know, Same real life. life. <laughs> real. And he got called a big dummy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you big dummy. <laughs> you big dummy. Get back <laughs> over here. <laughs> I'm trying to remember her husband. Oh, her husband's name was Woodrow. Woodrow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Woodrow. Yeah. yeah, I was sitting there yeah. trying to remember all the characters off of it. Oh, that was, that was a good show. That was, man, that was fun. <laughs> what was Lamont's buddy's name? Oh, Rollo. Yeah. Rollo. Rollo. Yeah. Yeah. Golly, man. I hope some folks in the comments watch Sanford and Son. Cause that'd be fun. That that that's a fun one. Yeah, it's a good one. Well, it is just the, it it you know, if you look back in history, uh oh, there, no, there was times when stuff like that was just you know that was the norm. Oh yeah, yeah, because <laughs> it because it was real. It was truthful. Mm. Yeah, because I I knew I knew a lady that was just like uh, Aunt Esther. She would put you in your place quickly. I'm talking about. Then you married her. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't Miss Christine. Uh, Christine never whoop you with a purse. Uh, you can be honest. She tried. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Uh, she would uh, sling that purse or that Bible with equal enthusiasm. That's right. Whatever that's she's right. coming hey, at. Whatever whatever was was right at the time. Yeah. Amen. You know, she'd switch that. them off. <laughs> I she needed the Bible. She was in with the Bible, with yeah. God's word. And then when she just needed a hit, hey, she'd use the purse. She got that purse. Uh, yeah. She'd hit old Jace with a purse in a split second. Who's that, Christine? Yeah, oh, yeah. Christine and Jace don't get along? Oh, no. Well, he's too well, much like me. Yeah, she'd knock him smooth out if she had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, that's why Jace is Jace. We kept him when he was a baby. A lot. Oh, and I didn't. I didn't realize it till, till you know. I, I, that day I come home and told her, "Me and Jace like got the fist, fist fight." She says, "Well, I've been expecting that." She says, "Y'all just like, yeah." You know? And I said, "What are you talking about?" She said, "Hey, we kept that kid when he was a baby." Yeah, and he's got so many of your mannerism. That's why you can't get along with him. Yeah, you know? mm. we too much alike. Yeah, mm. yeah, you know? you know? you know, and I always talk about. Yeah, you know, he said, I'm not hard headed. I said, No, you know, no, you ain't hard headed. It's about like that stopper, sapper stump there. Knees, them sapper's knees. That's about how hard headed you are. Oh, yeah. You know? There you go. But yeah. it's all because of you. I, I kept him too much. Are you hard headed? No. I'm the easiest guy I know to get along with. <laughs> you just got to know how to get along. This is one of the times, sir, you have the wrong last name for that. <laughs> so, yeah. That don't I don't get to say that often about you boys, but you know, there you I've go. I've never seen Jason that mad before. In the elm hole scaffold. Over and yeah. Up. Over and up. That's how I'll tell the yeah, truth. I'll the tell the 100% true version of what happened, okay? To the T. Oh yeah, I was there too. You, Martin was there. I was, was there. Silas I was right, right beside Silas. Y'all leave out the most important part. Oh well, we'll see. I'll right. we'll see know, if I leave it out. I don't know about that. Right. But. So we get it's getting late. When I say late, it's twelve o'clock. Yeah, it may have been even later. No, than that. it was two. The sun it was, was straight. Two. The sun no. it was at least straight up. I know yeah. that. It, it was, was it was lunch. It was past that. that. It was two o'clock. It was twelve o'clock. Because <laughs> I remember because Al had an interview set up for Phil at twelve o'clock. I remember that distinctly. You remember that we that? didn't make. Fitted, did I make this? So Al was kind of rushing 
Russian. I mean, crap, you duck hunt until 12 noon. I mean, who does that? Nobody. Nobody but, but us back <laughs> in. Yeah, That's back right. in. But we would hunt all day. Yeah. Well, right. And sometimes yeah. we hunt till the this sun. Is, sun goes this back. is the ride the whole bunch. Ride the whole. Of course, it was a clear day, crisp. And they all hold wind blowing. Everything yep. was right to do it. Conditions were perfect for something magical to happen. Yep. So Jace wanted to ride it out. Al had an interview for Phil at noon. He said, we need to leave, we need to leave, we need to leave. Well, Phil finally relented. He said, we're going to leave. I'll go get the boat. Well, Phil goes to get the boat. Jay says, y'all don't leave till the till he gets the boat. Well, the boat ain't but, what, 60 yards? It yeah. ain't far over. It's, it's just yards. at the elbow. Probably I mean, 50. There. Yeah. Probably far. 50. So when Phil gets out of the blind, Cy gets out of the blind, Martin gets out of the blind, Godwin gets out of the blind. Uh, Al, I think Al got out of the blind. So me and Jason are the only ones left in the Al blind. was behind the blind taking a leap. Yeah. Because he's he kind of got unscathed on yeah. this whole deal. Yeah, Godwin was taking a leap, too. Yeah. So Godwin was on the ladder, and Al was back there. So about the time him. everybody gets out, out, out of the blind. But I si start picking up decoys. Yeah. I mean, he's older than me. At that time, he's 60-something. A 60-year-old man start picking up decoys. Well, the 20-something-year-old man is going to get out and help pick up decoys. Well, right. I ain't going to watch him work. Yeah, that's right. So, but well, there I went out of the blind helping pick up decoys. Mm-hmm. And buddy, we ain't no sooner than got out there. Yeah. Get down. They're Jay, coming. I'm Jay, like. Jay said, get a tree. So, so we look up, and I ain't kidding you. I'm gone. It's a cloud of 100 mallards. 100 flying tight. I'm talking about Work in the lake, work in the lake. And then Jason's like, get a tree, get a tree. Well, everybody gets a tree, so we thought. And them ducks make a big loop, and all of a sudden, they're right on top of us. Like this. Coming. Simultaneously. So they get down in the hole, and <laughs> flare straight up. Jace raised up, bump, peel one out, about 100. And he had him. He had him at sixty yards, and I, 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 that's what pissed him off. Now what pissed him off was well, no. When after he shot, he looked down there, and <laughs> Sai was standing in the middle of the duck. Hole I wasn't standing with about fifteen decoys. I was not standing. Rafted up behind him. <laughs> hey, now here's what really happened. When he said, "Hey, get a find a tree," I'm looking at duck shadows. On the decoys in the water. Well, I just, hey, I went, I'm like this. I'm sitting on the bottom. It ain't but way, waist deep. I got water right here. I don't think it's sticking up in my head. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, so, because that's the reason I didn't move. Yeah. The ducks are over right coming down. They're hey. stiff, you know. They, I looked up at shoot for it. He was like this. I was not. You're telling a bald face lie. I was sitting <laughs> down in the water. You were there. Hey, Look, hey. he shot three times, and I, I I looked up when they when they started shooting. The ducks are about fifty yards above me. <laughs> boom, miss. Boom, miss. <laughs> boom, one hundred twenty five yards high. He shoots the highest duck there is and kills him. And when I when he said, "What are you doing?" I told you get a tree, and I said, "Hey, I couldn't get a tree. The duck was in the duck in the decoy." I said, why did you shoot that one up there at 125 yards? I said, you had 60 to 50 yards. I said, you should have killed three, you idiot. Well, then we just, I just nose to nose. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's you know? bad. That water was a little no. deeper than that because yeah. I did get a tree and I filled my waders up full of water. Well, hey, I that. sat down in it, I'll tell you that. I wasn't and, standing with it. And look, what they didn't tell you, from 7 o'clock when we can see good, we we picked the wrong spot, number one. I told him, I said, better to go to the lake. So we didn't. It was a beautiful day. He's not wrong about that. Yo, so look, we've been watching the ducks do this and going down in the lake all morning. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, so <laughs> when I went to pick up decoys, look, I was grabbing decoys, and I was throwing them about 15 yards in a pile. Yeah. Well, the ducks on the lake heard it. Splash. Splash, splash, splash. I've been picking decoys up for 15 minutes, throwing them. Next time, I'll get down, get them to me. <laughs> Yo, and then I said, hey, you idiots, they wouldn't even come up there if I hadn't been throwing the decoys. 
I said, so what's this all this getting mad and red in the face about? My favorite part is I still get pissed off about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Because, because the story they told was just a bald-faced lie. Uh, I'm standing in the decoy, and I didn't have a decoy in my hand. Uh, I've been throwing them for 15 minutes. They were in a pile. There's about 15 of them in a pile right behind you. Oh, it's so good. It was about 30, no, no, no. 30 degrees. Well, hey, day too. It was cold. We come to close because I was, I was already, I had doubled my fist up and he had doubled his up. I was expecting him to oh, swing. Yeah. Oh, I was too. I just knew. I'm serious. At yeah. that point, I said, well, I ain't going to work here no more. No, no. I just hey, knew we that, that I was. We good. had both doubled up and Ooh. was just nose to nose screaming to each other. And I said, well, whenever he throws the first one, I'm fixed to get on him like <laughs> white on bread. Because I was getting chewed out for going and helping an old man pick up decoy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was like, <laughs> well, man, hey. at what point did I do something wrong? He got out there. I just followed it. What was I going to do? I mean, the same thing was going to happen whether I was there or not. Like, <laughs> that's what I never understood. Well, then, you know, once all the dust settled, Phil said, all right, boys, we're all going to gather up and have a meeting of the duck men at the house. So I thought in my mind, I was thinking he's going to smooth everything out, get everybody lined out. No. No, no. <laughs> he, gathered he goes on a time right <laughs> He gathered everybody up and proceeded to chew everybody's butt for getting out of the duck blind before the boat was crunk up. Like the like the worst football coach butt <laughs> chewing you ever got. Yeah, he had right. that finger pointed, like tapping you on the chest, and I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, it was I've been here before. It was, all, it was personal. <laughs> like, you we, <laughs> yeah, like we about to – we about to, Will you quit that? You're killing me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, we about to run gassers, stadiums, bear yeah. crawl. We oh, about to do bad. something. It's going to be bad here. It was you know. bad. Uh, and then it was at that point I said, you know what? There's a different mouse trap to this duck hunt. Yeah, and I don't think I've been back. Well, we've done, <laughs> hey, no, no, we've done that so many times. It's always we'll sit there and talk about, well, y'all about ready to go? Because one day, hey, four thirty to the blind. It's like five twenty-five. Legal is five thirty. We've got five minutes. We've been there all day long. We got five minutes. All right, load up. Let's get out of here. We get in the boat. When we get to the brook brush, we go in to park the boat. We look back, and 100 big mallard drakes, all of them, just in the decoy. And Phil said, he just shut the boat off and looked at it. He said, yo, he said, we're ignorant. He said, no, we got past ignorant. We're stupid. He said, we was here at 4.30 this morning, and we sit in this blind till 5.25. And he said, then like an idiot, I said, load up. Let's get out of here. And he said, and what happens? 100 greenheads right in the decoy. He said, we done been there all day. Why didn't we just stay five more minutes? Because we done run smooth out of groceries. Yeah. We've done that so many times, and we'll sit there and tell me, okay, we better go. Yeah, okay, everybody get out. Let's go pick up decoys. We all out there picking up decoys. Guess what? Look up. Here they come. They flare. Yeah. Mm. But nobody it don't said matter. anything about uh, that. Yeah. No, it don't matter when you go pick your stuff up, these ducks coming. No, no, it don't come. matter. Hey, it don't make any difference. We can stay there till midnight. And when we got out and picking up decoys, they're going to fly in there dark. It's that splashing, ain't it? That, that's yeah. that's splashing. splashing boy. That's what hey. draws them. Yeah. They can that's hear it from hey. miles. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You need to build a contraption stone, just put a decoy on a rope, and it just splashes about every, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> every couple of minutes. Yeah. It just slings it and splashes. Well, no, no. No, no. Did you say that? No, no. Hey. <laughs> Jason, if you watch him work a jerk string, when they turn their butts away from him and flying away, Jason makes them make just splash, splash. He's over. He's over. At talking about look like he's doing a workout. We're just going to get Jason here, and y'all just going to have to get. No, this no, over I, it won't oh, do any good. Battle Royale. Oh, I, 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 I want to hear that same story with Jason. Look, it won't <laughs> do any good. Well, Jace came on number three hundred, so when we get to six hundred, he may come back. Maybe. I don't know. He did say he had fun. So really? No, no, yeah, yeah. His his podcasts are not fun. Uh oh. So he said, "You know, I actually enjoyed this. I had fun." And I said, "Yeah, I know." Oh, we always have fun yeah. here. Oh well, let's take our last break. We'll get in them emails. We'll be back right after this. 
So I just went on a monologue about him killing That's Doug right. and nobody hey, else. And, and remember, I got two PhDs. That's yep. right. Wait, it, okay. okay. <laughs> He's got two of them. <laughs> I got uh, two of them. <laughs> first of all, nobody sent any pictures of the Psy Lufa in. Uh-oh. So apparently those are out of the rotation. It's out, it's everybody, out, it's out. Which well, is a good thing. Anybody. But Chris, a uh, uh, former, I, he doesn't say what he was, who he was with. America, though. He was on deployment, and there was one guy that had one, uh, I guess, in the barracks, and he would always yell, get to armpits, Jack, which is quasi-disturbing. Uh-oh. 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 And I'm disturbing. not sure if I like Uh-oh. it or not. <laughs> um, but that was the only person who said, that they knew somebody that even used the weird Psy Lufa. That's right, that's Dr. Right. Dean's probably had a Psy Lufa at some point. Uh, he said, well, who? Um, um, anyway, <laughs> and then there's also Sydney from Madison, Florida emailed in, and she wanted to just show off her 16th birthday cake. Hey, that's really nice. Mm. Happy birthday. Hey, got a now, good this look was a check. while ago. I think this was her cake from 2016 when Duck uh, Dynasty was at its height. Yep. Well, Ty did have a little, little, little dark color. in his beard back then. That's right. That's a good looking cake, though. Yeah, it is. Mm. I don't Mm-mm-mm. care what. It is. And since we're going down memory lane in our the moment that will live in infamy in uh, uh, Duck Commander history, Jaden from Lincoln, Nebraska, emails in, and we don't do a lot of Duck Dynasty recollection here, and they just want to know what was everybody's favorite moment of Duck Dynasty. And we've done this before, but I mean, it's always a good catch up. And I think I know what you're going to say. Oh, yeah. My favorite episode was when I had the fat little CEO of Duck Commander handcuffed to this. Why is he and always I, got I had to go. He had to go everywhere I had to go. He had to take a leak with you. Yeah. Hey, a man that drinks two of these a day takes a lot of pit stops. I'm like one of them fine tuned race cars. You know, you run, you run, you about 10 laps. It's, what you doing? He's taking a pit stop. I don't need no gasoline, but I do need to go take a leak. And, hey, I told Willie, I said, hey. And that's when I had my Tupperware glass. I said, Willie, this had about, this had about this much in it. I said, Willie, look. He said, oh, no. I said, oh, yeah. He said, oh, no. And I said, oh, I said, oh yeah, come on. I just started dragging him behind the deuce knife. I said, I got to go. And then we're standing there. It shows us they got the cameras on our backs. Well, that's good. And you hear Willie say, you just peed on my hand. I said, well, get it out of the way. He said, why don't you put that Tupperware class in the other hand? I said, hey, nope, that's my drinking hand. I said, this is the holding hand. <laughs> a holding hand. He's he drinks so much tea. He has a drinking hand and a holding hand. Well, right. We just learned about size. He's not ambidextrous. No, that's right. Hey, one thing at a time, boys. I just, one no, that'd be a, a multitasker. As someone who's sat on one, hey, multitasking is out. Okay. Yeah. The worst part is I've sat in this chair about three hundred times now, and he's always drinking with his right hand, and I'm yeah, on so, his left side. Yeah, so. you know what he's doing with that other one. Every yeah, time he right, grabs yeah. me, that's with the holding hand. That's the oh, holding that's hand. why he's holding you. Yeah. That's right. That's it. That's you know. That's, I don't. That time we were in Scotland was pretty fun. I always forget about that. And then I, I had a memory pop up the other day of us in that tug of war. And, mm-hmm. You know, you go over there and you kind of prideful. You're like, these boys ain't going to beat us in tug of war. Yeah. They whooped you, didn't they? Oh. Drug us through the mud like seven times in a row because, you know, reality TV. You know, <laughs> yeah, got to get it. Well, do it one more time. Yeah, got to get it once. I was like, I'm tired of getting drugged through the mud because I went all out on the first one. Well, you. I and mean, still got drugged through the mud. Yeah. So then when you had to do it again, it was just getting drugged harder. Yeah. That, and that's mud. not good for you because you had to be team captain of tug of war with that group. Yeah. Yeah. You'd be first pick. Mm-hmm. And you just got drugged? Oh. Like these a, were, like a guys, rag no. doll. Hey, these guys, you know, it ain't no use for me doing it. They do no. it for for fun. Now, see what I will say, and they didn't tell us, all them boys, you know, you're playing on that Scottish grass. Well, it's like really slick. It, it ain't like our grass around here. It's mowed real it's, tight. It's, more it's like, like golf course grass. It's more like a, what's the turf? The uh, astroturf. Artificial turf. Mm-hmm. Mm. And but I noticed, anybody look anybody you don't want to do tug of war with people that flip telephone poles. Yeah. 
for fun. That's true. <laughs> that okay, is another true their assessment. Arms, their arms are about about big as that deer's neck. But they all had okay. cleats on too. Yeah. Oh, that's not fair. Oh, they didn't tell us nothing yeah. about cleats. Now, l- now let me go ahead and preface this. <laughs> If Y'all, we'd have had cleats on, we still were getting drugged through the mud. Yeah, <laughs> I just may have been able to hold the front line a little well, bit longer no, if it, I had it some It would grip. be more of a skid. Oh, buddy. Yeah. When I, look, I gave it everything I had, buddy. Oh, y'all got notes on it. Oh, look, them hey, boys. By guys in miniature cowboy hats. Yeah, hey, but when they up. settle in, buddy, look, I dropped my light. Uh-oh, there, there goes Jace. Look, we're all sitting down, and they're still oh, pulling us across the line. Oh, they smashed us. Oh, hey. But hey, like I said, anybody, a lot of technique involved. Yeah, though. anybody that flips telephone poles for fun, you don't want to mess with them. And Al, uh, Al was even wearing vests back then, though, and, oh, a, yeah. and a camera. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> Look at him! Oh man, Smiling. that was that was a fun one though. But I mean, it was embarrassing because they just beat the tar out of us. And then they throw like this thing that looks like a shot put, but ain't a shot put, and they sign me up for that, and I. I think I still need rotator cuff surgery because, of course, I went ham. I was like, oh, you give me a thing? I'll throw that sucker. Yeah, I'll throw that joker. No. No. There's a lot no. of technique in a shot I, I, I threw that and my arm out there. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, oh, bad well, call. What's that behind that thing? He said, that's my arm. Mm-hmm. His elbow. Yeah. Yeah, we got smashed in all those games. But pride is a, a bad thing. <laughs> it's a weird Dang creature. It. Yeah. <laughs> what, what does it say? Because I don't like getting whooped pride nothing. Pride before, before the fall? Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't like getting whooped or nothing, so I'll give you all I got. And they still whoop me, and I hurt, and, you know, whatever. It's fine. It happens. Yeah, it sucked. I had, like, I had like carpet burn from getting drugged through that mud and them blue jeans. I mean, them suckers <laughs> drug us so bad. And that was the weak team. That was the one they are like, well, try these guys. No, they still drug. That first team, big. Like, I mean, we looked like a plow behind an ox. So we just, we just dug a trench going down through there. That's it was a bad deal. But it was fun. <laughs> the was Duck Dynasty tug of war. In Scotland. It, I don't think Duck Dynasty will ever top Killer the dog or, yep. or when Cy told them kids, you ever been to Nom? You ever been to Nom? That are the turkey dance. Bingo. The turkey dance, turkey was, a dance one. was a good one. Yeah. Oh, and when he was with all the grandkids and had the feather boas around his neck. Oh, so, yeah. So I don't have any lipstick or something. Yeah. That was a good one. There's uh, a few of them I remember no, that are Phil, just. Phil said something the other day. He said, I can't believe you did that. I said, hey, look, you had all sons. Yeah. I said, I had a daughter. Yeah, you had a little girl. I said, I had a daughter. So you, knew, said, what hey, grand, look, you knew what grandbabies was I like. I said, hey, that. look, you if you ever, I said, you'll never understand. It. Yeah. It's all this about, you know, who's a man? I said, no. I said, when you got a little girl, I said, hey, she's got dad wrapped around her little finger. Whatever she wants to do, dad's going to be involved in it. And Stone done run smooth out of fingers. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. The only difference between mine and his or my, one of mine to uh, shoot you and the other one to uh, choke you unconscious. <laughs> well, I got them Well, hey, he's he's not lying. Lying. They're, they're prepared. Look, you ain't got about one to worry about. Yeah, I know. Okay? <laughs> the, the other two, you got two, okay? If they mess around, hey, you're going to get shot. Or if you mess around, I'm going to choke you out. You're going to pass out. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Y'all, Sage, Sage coming out one day. He didn't invite me over to eat a steak. I'm sitting in the couch, you know, sitting down. And Sage comes running in. I think she was six at the, seven at the time. Come run in and she gets right in front of me and squared up and she's like this to me, Uncle Si. I said, What? She said, You wanna wrestle? I said, Sage, get your butt out in the yard and play. <laughs> I said, I'm not gonna let you choke me out. <laughs> Could she what I get? Oh yeah, she choked Carly's uh, boyfriend out. And he literally, you know, passed out. <sighs> that was his own fault. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, it was funny. She come in there and jumped behind him. He's on the couch. She jumps up there and throws that arm around him, locks it down, and he had a phone in his hand, and the first thing that happened is, clunk, the phone hits the floor, and then Stone said, let that boy go. And about that time, he is already going. He was out. Got to learn how to tap. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. Quick tap. I do have one on there that I saw. I think they sent us to both of us, but let me see. Brianca. 
Brianca. from North Carolina. She just wanted a shout out on the podcast. She's graduating. Hello, Brianca. In May 2024, and she said she'll be her mom's first and only child that has oh, graduated yeah, college. Him. Yeah. Oh. So I thought it was hey, cool. Congrats. She just wanted a shout out. So yeah. there you go. Um, congratulations on graduating college. You that's stuck it, it out. Hey. You oh, did that's it. A, that's a milestone in the ladies' mm -hmm. yeah. ladies' lifestyle. Yeah. You did it. Congrats. Excellent, young lady. But Way you want, to go. You want to send yeah. us out of here, big dog? Yes, I do. Joshua 1, 8. That's the one before Joshua 1, 9. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Hey, there I like go. that. Sounds pretty good to me. You sounds, heard it here. Sounds to me like read your Bible and everything be all right. That's right. Hey. There you go. What a what a concept. Right. Martin, you're on to something. Yeah. We'll uh we'll see y'all next time right here. We're out.